Greetings, Prairie Witch here. Today we're going to do Judge and the Jury. This is a level 65 mission available from Martin. Alright, so this mission is broke up into two parts. The first part, you have to kill eight jurors, and they're spread out all over the map. Some of them are in vehicles, some of them are just static standing around. And then there's a second part where you have to kill four jurors that have police protection. That's a timed part. So first we'll deal with this part. It's relatively easy. It can be done with a vehicle. You have a few of them like this guy in the boat that you'd have to shoot with the sniper rifle from land or a rocket launcher from something like that. So you really have to kind of plan out your kills if you're doing this with a vehicle. Now if you're doing it with the buzzard like I am, it becomes relatively easier. Since you don't have to deal with all the driving, because ever since the import-export DLC, the driving patterns in the game have gotten just jinky. And especially if you have the cops. The the AI cars just go nuts whenever the cars are around. They slam into you. They make it nearly impossible to try to drive. It's just one of those kind of hassles that happened when we got a new DLC that made this mission kind of kind of more difficult. But using the helicopter, especially the buzzard as fast as it is, it really makes this mission go quick. And like I said, the guys are spread out all over the map. So if you kind of just do a lazy circle around the city and just take them out, you can get them relatively fast, pretty easy without having to deal with too much of anything. You'll lose the cops once you get them pretty quick because you're moving continuously. And like I said, most of the targets like this one are just right out on the street and you can take them out pretty quick. Now I am saving the last few harder of the targets. I save those for last because I really want to take out all these easy ones and then have the time to work on the harder ones without having to rush. So we get these last few. Now this one up here is one of the ones that I can't use the buzzer to kill. And it's just mainly because he's down tucked in there and if you try to fly around in there you could hit stuff and wreck the buzzard. And so it's just as easy just to land right up here on the roof, get out with the sniper rifle and take him out. Now he is kind of hidden so you have to kind of know where he is. So from right here you scope in, he's just right there on the edge of that umbrella. You can see his feet and his head sticking up. Just pop him right in the head, and that one's done. Now you can just jump back in the helicopter, and we'll ahead and take out these last two. Now, like I said, this mission is relatively easy, very easy with the helicopter. So, come out to this last one over here. Now, this one can, oh, not the last one, second to last one. Now, this one can be a pain in the butt because he's hiding in the middle of this construction on this building. If you try to attack from this side, he's going to run out the other side and just hide around stuff. It makes it real hard to do. So what you want to do is come to this side and then just get right over here at this entranceway until you can lock onto him and just send rockets in and take him out. And another reason to use the buzzard is you don't waste your ammo. Because you have unlimited ammo with the buzzard, so it doesn't cost you anything, which is another big plus. You can see he's dead. You can get out of here relatively quick because you're in a buzzard so you don't really have to deal with the cops. Now this one right here is not really a hard one to do but it's annoying to do. So I land on the building across the street because this dude is inside of the convenience store and there is a cop in there with him. So if you try to go inside the convenience store and kill him the cops all shoot you and stuff like that. So just pull out the sniper and just come right in scope right here. Now the cop is standing in front of the door so what you want to do is kind of just shoot over here at the window and this will trigger the guy that's inside to come running out. Here he goes, here he comes and shoot him. Nope, oh, just winged him. So just put some bullets into him. He's pretty easy to kill. I like to make him suffer. Now as soon as you kill that last one you have triggered the second part of this mission and you now have four minutes to kill these other four jurors. And these all have police protection, so every time you kill them, you're going to get three stars. Which is another good reason to have the buzzard, because trying to drive through this traffic with three stars, the way that the traffic patterns are now, it's just crazy. So I come to these first, because these two over here are pretty much the hardest ones. And you want to come to this direction, especially attacking this one. Because this guy hides out in this little parking lot, and if you don't come from this way, you'll chase him into the underground under those overpasses and stuff and it's really hard to kill him. 
So you want to chase him out this way so he goes out on that bridge. And you can just take him out with a rocket real easy. Boom, he's down. Now, for this next one, you really want to make sure that you lose the cops. You'll lose them real quick during this part, but you have to have pretty much no cops when you come to this part. Because as soon as you lock on, you want to send as many rockets as possible. Because this guy in here is surrounded by cops and you want to make a huge explosion to kill him. Boom, he's taken out. Now you can fly away. Because as soon as you shoot in there, you're going to trigger the cops. Three stars and there's cops everywhere. And it's really hard to take that guy out. Now these last two are real easy. This one right here, he's just in a vehicle driving around. You can get right in behind him in the open and take him out really pretty simply. Just scoot up on, just like Headhunter, and just take him right out. Now this last one is in a hotel. He's standing up on a balcony. Now if you have cops when you hit here, especially if you have three stars, this one part right here can be difficult. But you really want to just swoop in real quick, just start letting the rocket go take out the cops and just keep sending a barrage of rockets and you'll hit the juror if you got enough time you won't have to worry about it boom now he all you have to do now is lose the cops and that's relatively easy just fly straight up into the air or however you want to do it and once you lose the cops just all you have to do now is fly to Martin's house and if you need to wait your 16 minutes out you can just land right up here on the on the roof and just wait your time it's pretty easy this is a pretty cool mission but you could do headhunter for less work and make more money so I pretty much just don't do this one anymore but it is fun every once in a while to throw it out there it's got a pretty decent payout all right well this is great witch I hope this video helps you out and I will see you next time peace